In this video, I want to kind of go over some of the uh, major actor types instead of Unreal Ed. It's really important to have a good understanding and grasp of these actor types. So we've looked at static meshes, and these guys are static meshes. You'll notice that they have this green wireframe, they're geometric objects, and they could be anything from guns to trash cans to an entire spaceship, all kinds of cool stuff. And these are usually, these are actually always made outside of Unreal. So program like Maya or 3ds Max something like that an artist builds them then they're brought into the engine where they can be used to populate worlds and levels we also have some different types of actors like if we go over here to the modes button and look at geometry we have the ability to build primitive actors like boxes cylinders spheres staircases stuff like that inside of Unreal so if I click and drag this box for example in here in my editor and by default it's a little bit too big so let me resize that a little bit so we can get a good idea of what's going on. I'm going to go up to my modes button up here. I'm going to go to geometry editing. And this will allow me to select the polygons that are on the sides of this box. Think of that as the walls of the box. And I can select them and transform them, move them around. Just, just trying to make this box a little bit smaller just so we could see it a little bit better here for demonstration purposes. So I just built a box. You can build a box like this inside of something like Maya and import it into Unreal, or you can build a box like this inside of Unreal. And the whole purpose of these uh, BSP or GSG brushes is to be able to build some primitive geometry for your level. And we'll talk more about that later. Another actor type is lights. And lights are also actors, same way that a static mesh is. And these actors can be placed in your scene. And if you're an environment artist or a lighting artist, you're going to be working with lights a lot. So lighting actors are something that you're going to see a lot. You're going to use them a lot and edit them a lot. So if I go to visual actors, I have things like post-processing. I've got decals that I can place. If I go to basic, I can see I have more actors. For example, I've got cameras. I've got a box trigger. Box triggers are a different type of actor but they do cool things. For example, you can trigger things. Let's say, for example, a player's walking down a hallway, touches a trigger, and the trigger makes an automatic door in a secret military base open up for the player. So triggers are pretty, uh, pretty common. Uh, they have pretty common usage in Unreal. We've also got some volumes. So we've got blocking volumes and things like that. And blocking volumes are really common because they're used to stop the player from falling out of the world. So if you've ever played a game where you see a cliff, and there's an invisible wall that keeps you from falling down the cliff, um, usually that's blocking volume. So these are some of the, uh, the main actor types that you're going to come across when working in an Unreal. And you need to get acquainted with these and understand these um, so that they make a lot of sense when you're working with them in Unreal.